Hi again everyone. Um gonna do a two-part video on this Cat 953C track loader. Uh, the first part is gonna be a bit of a kind of review specification and the experience I had from ordering from AliExpress in China. Okay, so the loader is made by Ferro which is the same company uh, that my CAT 339DL excavator come from which is just behind this model um, it's labelled, sold as 1 12th scale um, but I'll get to it later as a comparison you can most probably already see it's a lot bigger than the excavator which is supposed to be 1 12th um, we'll get to that after okay so it comes with um, pretty much ready to go they said all you have to do is add oil and batteries uh, now when I got it and took a took the cab off it, it already had oil in it you can't see how much because the tank is sealed and there's no gauge on it um, so it says put 50 to 100 mil in now you get the syringe to put it in, uh, put the oil in. So I put about 30 millilitres in just to, I didn't want to run it empty and I didn't want to put too much in. If you put too much in these, they leak. Uh, so I put 30 mil in, put the batteries in and bang, away it goes, straight away. Um, you get a flash guy radio with it um, and a flash guy six channel receiver. Uh, you get two sets of lights and you get a beacon uh, you have to wire them in yourself as you do with the glass in the cab um, dead easy to do the only problem I found with the receiver because it's only a six channel before you put any lights on it already uses um, five channels for the pump the ESCs for the um, for the motor, the wheeled motors, the brushless motors and you have two in the block for the hydraulic block so you've only got really one slot so the beacon is um, programmable or switchable I should say so you need a channel for that um, the sixth channel so you can swap the the, the, the flash of the beacon so you've still got two sets of lights without any sockets on the receiver so I decided to put the cab lights on front and back and I plugged them in the bind plug um, socket on the receiver to get them working now the, 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 the second set of lights are supposed to go in the back but to be honest with you they're massive and they look ridiculous I don't know where they got the idea from but I'll show you what they look like and when you get them okay so they are supposed to stick out the back there's um, two red and two white LEDs in there now they're absolutely huge um, to be honest with you, it looked it would look daft with them in, so I decided not to use them anyway. So all are done to cover the holes. You get some uh, decals with the with the loader. So I've just put some of the decals. These with four holes in there. I just put them over because on the real loader anyway, um, you wouldn't have got lights on the back. They never fitted lights on the back of the real. 953 so that was that um, I got it from Aliexpress in China um, a store called Emo Store that's E-M-O Emo Store now I messaged them first to make sure how quick that it, the, 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 the unit gets to me in the UK so uh, the message you got back was off a chap called Paul. Um, he, he's obviously Chinese. Not bad English. 
Um, and to be honest with you, because they're eight hours out, eight hours ahead in the UK, um, the, the messaging system. If you message from here at midday, it's eight o'clock in China. So you can, you know, sometimes it could be up to 24 hours before you get a reply off him. Um, sometimes, though, he was answering straight away, depending on what time of the day. But anyway, you know, he, he was okay. So they send you this unit um, by FedEx. Now, the FedEx charge was £135. Um, but it's priority and it's tracked. And you guarantee to get it to you within seven to fifteen days, and it, the tracking is really good up till it got to the UK. Now it's been everywhere. If, if, you, if you follow your, the tracking, it come from in China, Shanghai, then it went to um, Belgium, and it was there for a couple of days. Then it went to France, Charles de Gaulle, de Gaulle Airport. Then eventually, um, it got to the. To, uh, to the UK now if the first stop was Stansted then it went to Bedford and then after Bedford which was most probably if I remember rightly oh, the 11th maybe 12th day after ordering um, sorry it was about the 10th day after ordering it just said it was a Bedford. It never said it's on its way to where I live in Merseyside. Nothing. So I ordered it on um, the 11th of December 2020. And it got delivered on the 23rd of December 2020. So in fact it took, uh, it took what, 12 days? <coughs> Excuse me. Now... I was in on the 23rd and I got a notification from FedEx to say it had been delivered at one o'clock. Well, I was in and it hadn't arrived. So I went outside and I checked on the front, I checked down the side of my house, I checked everywhere and it wasn't there. So I phoned FedEx UK and um, to explain to them what had happened. So the lady on the phone said, okay, we'll take it, we'll send this to the incident part department. If in the meantime, I can go and check with, with neighbours just in case somebody's took it in. So I went round every neighbour and no. So I come back home and I phone FedEx again. Now I had an incident number now, so I got put through to the incident department. And a chap named Steve, who was very, very helpful, he said, don't worry about it. Wherever the driver has taken it, he'll go back and he'll get it. Leave, leave it with me. So about five minutes later, uh, I spoke to him again and he said, the driver has made a mistake and he's delivered it to the wrong address. So I said, well, how could that be? My address must have been on the label. He said, oh yeah, your name, address, postcode, everything is on there. He's got the wrong street. He's going back now. And he'll deliver to you today. Now it was about, oh, most probably about half past three in the afternoon by this time. So um, about four o'clock, lo and behold, the delivery driver turns up. So I said to him, what the hell happened? I said, you know, it's expensive. This is expensive. I've been waiting a lot, you know, quite a while for it. He, and he, the fella couldn't apologize enough. He said, what it is, there's a street down the road from you that's got a similar name. And they were getting a... Deep, uh, one of the houses was getting a parcel delivered. So when I delivered it to that house, which was number eight, I seen your parcel and I just took notice of the number and not the address because I thought they were both in the same uh, road, same address. So he said, luckily enough, I went back there and the person that I gave the parcel to was still in. They handed it straight back to me and I brought it here. He said, I can't apologise enough. So I didn't I didn't take off on the guy. You know, we all make mistakes in life. Uh, I just kind of said, OK, mate. I said, it's worth a lot of money, this. Um, you know, be careful next time. You know, you could lose your job or something over this if, if a customer went, you know, took it further. So anyway, I got it. 
<coughs> so like I said, it took 11 days to get here. Uh, sorry, how many days did it take? It took, uh, yeah, ten, nine days, nine days altogether. I'm looking at the wrong dates. So anyway, yeah, it come, uh, set it up and it all works, which I was really, really happy about. Now, I used it for about 10, 15 minutes and the track come off one of the sides. So when I investigated why it come off, it's hard to see on camera, but each link of this track has got a pin through it, a silver pin. That had popped out. So I pushed it back and I used it again. Five or 10 minutes later, another one come out. So what I did in the end, I had to think about how I'm gonna get around. I can't have that happening all the time. You know, 10 minutes use and the bloody tracks off. So I actually took every pin out of each link on both sides. Some of them were in tight, but some there was no effort and it was out. Um, what I decided to do to get around that for the time being is put a dab of uh, glue just on the end of the pins so when you knock them in the glue will dry and they won't pop out and since then I've used it for about an hour or so and I haven't had that problem again <coughs> that's about the downside to that's all I've found at the moment so uh, yeah um, a bit of the specification on it the two drive motors that drive the, the tracks, they're electric uh, and they're brushless drive motors. Um, the battery is a, a 3S LiPo. Now the, 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 the biggest I can get in there, in the space in the back, uh, in there, is a 4500 milliamp and it's a 35C. Now the measurements of that battery are 130 long millimetres by 45 millimetres wide by 22 millimetres thick. Now when I first got it I didn't have this battery but it did out of my excavator. And uh, this, this one is a 6200 11.1. Uh, it, it, it works in there but it sticks out the back. This one closed. But to get the thing running that's all I had at the moment. Um, I'll put some links in the description of for this and the batteries. Um, it's a Dean's plug connector that you're going to need. Uh, yep, so that's that. Uh, you need four AA batteries for your transmitter. Uh, what else have we got? The seat inside is really really it's a really nice seat don't don't get me wrong this isn't a premium model and it's not a premium play price either uh, if you want premium you know you're looking at three grand upwards um, try and get a shot of that seat in there but it's a really really nice well-made seat I've still got to get a driver for it yet I haven't got one that'll fit but yeah, that's a nice little seat in there. Okay, um, when the radio comes, it comes set up where on the joysticks uh, you push both forward and the loader goes forward. Both backwards, both tracks go backwards. Now, if you want to turn it, it's uh, what they call tank controls. So each one of these controls a single track. So if you push that up and push that down, this will spin on the spot. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how that works. But this is basically set up like that. So to raise the main boom, you'd push this one left. And to lower it, push it right. Uh, this stick controls the bucket. So if you go left on that stick, the bucket will curl upwards. And then right, and the, the bucket will, will empty. Uh, the pump is on switch A, so when you turn that on, the pump comes on. I straight away change that um, to when you move the sticks for the boom and the bucket, the pump comes on automatically, called a mix. 
Now I've done that video on the excavator, which is maybe, I don't know, six to 12 months old. So if you look down my list, you'll find this radio and how to do the mix to mix your pump with the controls on this uh, and on the excavator as well. Uh, I'll go into that a bit more detail on the second one. Uh, really wanted to show people as well that on this, they say it's one twelfth. To me, I, it looks like one tenth. Now, if you look at the size of the cab on that, and then the cab on the excavator, let me take that band off so the door opens. The cab on this is pretty slim and smaller. Whereas that is massive. The, it just looks a total different scale. These are sold as 112, these excavators. And it is big, it's heavy as well. But that, that's, I think that's 110th. It's huge. Then, if you go to the uh, Harina 580 and you look at the size of that compared to the size of that, you know, that's, you can see that's, a, that's tiny compared to that. Um, yeah, so basically just wanted to give you a bit of an in, insight into dealing with uh, AliExpress. You know, one, one other thing about them is when you pay, I pay by PayPal. Now, when you pay, you, AliExpress doesn't sell, uh, sorry, pay this seller, which is Emo, before you get your unit. And then after, you, after you've, uh, it's been delivered, uh, <clears throat> they know it's been delivered by the tracking. About two days later, you get a, an email off AliExpress saying, you know, are you happy with the model? Is everything okay? Uh, please let us know if you're happy so we can pay the seller. Now what happens is they, when you pay AliExpress, they hold the money and they don't pay the seller. They don't pay the seller until you're happy. Then you get 15 days after that time um, if you've got any problems with it, um, they will, you open a dispute. Now, you'd also get 180 days with PayPal uh, if there's any problems. Now, I contacted Paul from the Emo store and told him about the pins popping out all the time. Now, you know, he's Chinese, so basic, basically he messaged me back and he said, just pop them back in. You know, it, it wasn't, it is that simple, but that's not curing the problem. Uh, I'm not too bothered about it. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're into radio control, I've been into it all my life. You're going to have problems with them. It doesn't matter what they are. Something's going to break. Something's going to need repairing, general maintenance. Um, so, you know, I, I, the way I fixed it uh, was just to put a dab of glue on them. And it's worked. Other than that, they're actually uh, two mil Allen, uh, two mil thickness bolts. They're about one point six seven mil, but you can only buy them obviously two mil. Uh, now, where the final link is in this track, when they send it to you, it's already got an Allen bolt and not on the back of it, so you can join it and unjoin it. Um, if if the worst come to the worst, you could actually buy. Um, Allen bolts, nuts and bolts, two mil long, um, and, and and put them in, you know. Um, and that would solve the problem as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I've, I've basically gone over the, the basics of, uh, you know, what it is. The ordering process, uh, the dealing with them. It's pretty seamless, to be honest with you. You know, it, I, I was worried, uh, I was beyond worried. When he said FedEx has said it was delivered here and, and, it, and it wasn't, you know, you, you spend a lot of money and you wait quite a while. And, you, you know, anyone that's ever dealt with things being delivered, you're always at the back of your mind, am I going to get it? You know, and you, you, when you're paying a lot of money, um, you know, you're expecting it, especially, you know, I paid £135 for the tracked insured um, delivery post. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to wrap it up there. Like I say, I'll put some links in the description for you all. I know it's a bit of a long video, but there's quite a lot to get in. I wanted to tell the story as well. 
because when I was looking at buying this unit, I went on um, YouTube and that, uh, and to be honest, it was vague. I even asked uh, someone that had bought it in uh, previously, you know, what kind, what, what dimension battery can I get in the back? And they never even got back to me. You know, anyone that contacts me, I've got plenty of videos on about RC. Anybody asks and I get back to them and I tell them, I'll tell them the truth. Um, right, I've rabbits on long enough. I'm going to cut it here. The next one in a day or so, two time. I'll give you a little demo of it working. Hopefully by that time, I'll have a driver in the cab. Thanks very much. I'd love you if, you, if you'd be uh, able to share, like and subscribe. Um, um, I've only been really doing this kind of YouTube vlogging on RC for about about 12 months. Um, I've got 200 followers. Uh, if you can help me out, that'd be great. Thanks all. Have a good Christmas and New Year.